So I've been editing my Outer Wilds footage, and I've realized that I don't talk in this game nearly as much as I do in some other games. It's shocking how immersive this game is. For a game where you effectively fly around and look at stuff and read things, I think this is one of the most immersive games I've ever played. It's kind of nuts. So what were, what was I working on last time? Where did we end off? We were on the crumbling planet. Let's take a look at this. Because we got some things here. Okay, so we've seen the mural panels. Yeah, so we, we found the... The Hanging City. We found the old settlement, but we found all of the uh, the relevant stuff. So I'm just going to clear these out. So, escape pod... Uh, let's see, one of the three escape pods landed somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. Yep. Never made it out of Dark Bramble. And the vessel is somewhere in Dark Bramble. So, we've got to go... Ooh, what's this? The Frozen Nomai Shuttle. There's more to explore there. Yeah, so, I think let's go back to... Let's go back to Brittle Hollow. Put on the suit before I kill myself by accident. Okay. So, Brittle Hollow. There we go. I am terrible at flying. I think I was going to talk about this a long time ago, but this game is actually what I wanted No Man's Sky to be. Like, almost completely, with the exception of the, you know, time loop. Because... Shoot. I do we want to get to the gravity cannon. Do I want to go through here? It's probably the easiest way to get in. Maybe not, actually. I bet we can get in through the gravity cannon. We also have not been in through the, uh, the dome. Okay, yeah, there's the gravity cannon, and it looks like there's a... I mean, it's a giant opening. Whoops. Bounced off of that one. Not bad. Uh... God, I suck at landing in this game. Hmm. It's not much better. Yeah, I guess this will ha this will have to do. Okay, but like, No Man's Sky was one of those games where I really enjoyed the wandering and the exploration. Like that felt really good to me. Unfortunately, it lacked. Oh, it's over there. The, ent the entrance, uh, entrance, the way down is over there, and we might as well check it out because there might be something more useful. If I, like, take the proper way down through the building. Because sometimes there's lore in these zones. Whoops. Okay, got it. Still kind of a crappy landing, but I think that's just normal for me. Is there anything interesting around here? Doesn't look like it. Let's see. The landing in this game seems to be difficult. I mean, I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that I'm just bad. But, I don't know. The grind was what killed No Man's Sky for you. It felt pointless very fast. Yeah. Brittle hollow projection stone. Let's check it out. I don't think I've ever done a projection stone on Brittle Hollow. Oh. I know where we are. Oh, that's what we needed to do. Because, yeah, I'm not going to be able to do this normally. However, if we wait to, till the end... Yep. Yeah, that's that's our plan for for today for this run. Is more or less wait. Um. We wanna we wanna wait and get into that that uh. Oh shoot! What it whatever it is. Into the temple. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first. Yeah, the the quantum temple or the quantum library, whatever it was called. Anyway. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. 
That's exciting, you're almost ready. But there's still one more rule that you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. There we go. The tower's on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west of the crossroads, you can reach the tower from here. My gratitude for the directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. Okay. So that's pointed up, not down. Pain to the butt, but not a big one. Okay, so this gets us back there. What happens if we go down the rest of the way? Crossroads. Okay, so we've we've been there. So a couple of things we could do. I Southern Observatory. Oh. We haven't done that yet either. I'm going to turn that on. We're going to go check that out in a bit. Because there's a couple of things I haven't done. Specifically, we have never fired the gravity cannon. Let's see. What's up with you? Crossroads again? Yeah, we've already been there. Okay. Is red... Oh, shuttle is... Currently resting at the quantum moon. Activate the gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. Hold on, though. That's not the right shuttle, then. There's two shuttles. So this is the shuttle that took me 100 kilometers out of the system, but that's this that's the shuttle that's sitting on the quantum moon. It's not fake shuttle, real shuttle. It's there's two shuttles, but how do I get the one back? Cuz I thought we'd be able to just recall the one on the on the interloper. But no, th we're pulling a completely different one. I'm trying to think. I'm f I really wish I could... Uh... I really wish I could, like, look at my notes while I'm here. I'm gonna fire the freaking gravity cannon. What did that do? It raised it. Let's see, there's a shuttle on the interloper? Yeah, there's a shuttle on the uh the dark side of the interloper. It's frozen, and the log I remember reading said that it just took somebody calling it back. Fired that shuttle at the sun. Can I get that back? Hmm. Because, yeah, I want to explore the interloper shuttle, but it's totally frozen. Well, this would explain some things. Yeah, so that's Quantum Moon again. Yeah, we'll have to look it up. I'll come back later. Because whatever this is, is... not what I'm looking for. Which means... maybe... I went to the wrong gravity cannon. 
I wonder if there's one on the, um... On the Ash Twin. This is disconcerting. Why would you do this? I gotta figure out how to die better. It didn't the thing next to the frozen shuttle, shuttle say recall was on Ash Twin? Musta. I m must not have been paying attention. But yeah, I bet there's another grav cannon or something. In the ass. Okay. That gets me back to the surface of this planet. My ship is freaking far away. Let's grab a little bit of fuel and I'm just going to fling myself in its general direction because I can't think of a better way of doing this. Because I could go back down, but I don't know if it's going to do, do me any good. Well, do we try that again? I could try that again. Wait. We're gonna go read that sign. Because I've got some time. Southern Observatory South. My bet is I'm supposed to hop on one of these. Okay. Well, a dangerous setup, honestly. Our planet has seen considerably better days. Okay. God damn it, not again. Why would you... Why is this your system for getting around? This seems woefully, woefully... Like... It is designed for death. Oh. What asshole would design this? Anything. Oh god. This is not great. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay. Risky business. The hell do we get up? That's it up there. The whole place got crongled. Oh. I can't see anything. Below. Okay, I might be able to reach that.
Okay, well, we got some some time to spare. I'd say I can open this door, but I don't think that's going to do me any good. Well, let's learn what we can while we're here. Because we do not have much time. Giant Steep Projection Stone. Kanoi, Daz, and I were lifting the orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank be uh, sank down beneath the cur uh, current. Con Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory, and it reveals an object might sink below the current. Kanoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface to the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. There might have been an easier path that I took. Now, we've already seen this part, I think. Yeah, so we've already been here. Here we go. Kasava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happens. An update is clear. There are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. There are cyclones Kasava typically... These are the cyclones Kasava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rare type of cyclone that spins in the opposite direction, pushes objects beneath the waters, and blow the current. My gratitude, Spire. Conway is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue moder uh, monitoring Giant's Deep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. Cute. Hey. Okay, so we're looking for this variety. Apart from the direction it's spinning, that's it. Alright, yeah. Easy peasy ish. Hold on. Well, that's interesting. They have every planet. What about you? It's trying to find the eye. Oh wait, no, here it is. No, there's there's an eye on each one of these rings and it doesn't know where it is. How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye in the eye of the universe? We know that what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. So, what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant Steep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless, except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build a giant cannon in orbit around Giant Steep. As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue the search method. Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology they're developing? This 
game is rad. Slow and sometimes infuriating, but rad. Now what do we do? How do I die? Alternatively, I don't die. My main problem is fuel supply. Because I haven't seen any new fuel canisters in a while. Oh, hi. I'm here. I did it. I put the ship down safely. Um, in that ship... In that ship went down... In that the ship went down and I didn't sustain bodily harm. A few minor repairs and it's like the ship never even hit the rocks. One of my better attempts, Feldspar would barely have laughed at me, I bet. That's the good news. The bad news is I uh, haven't found a way inside the structure yet. The door is broken. I know I'm not great at exploring, but I think I would have found a different entrance by now if there was one. But probably. I can't get inside from here, but I know there are paths below the surface. I'm going to head north to the ruins on the equator to try and find a way down. Oh. Be kind of nice if you could, like, hop into a ship for a moment and grab some much-needed fuel. Okay. This is going to be a bit of an undertaking, because i got to get back to my ship, and then we're flying it through the black hole. I don't know how much time we have left. It looks like the sun is still there. I haven't checked if the interloper is still flying. But it's fine. Okay, so we want to do... Refuel jetpack. Buckle up. I don't think I have anything else I can do here. But we want to go to the... The Tower of Quantum Shimidibibi. Where's you... Oh, that looks like it's... That's it right here. I can just, like, kind of park myself awkwardly on it. It's kind of a spot, like, right here-ish. Pretty. Well, that's about the best I'm going to get. Okay, so I'm just going to hang out here. So let's take a look at things. So, tornado simulation, southern observatory. Ah, oh, shit, there's more there. Well, seeing as I've got the door open, we got to go back to it. Getting out of that black hole's control is rough. Okay, Southern Observatory is over here. What if I missed? Entrance was next to the ship, wasn't it? Okay. So yeah, we'll do the Quantum Tower on the next cycle. Because yeah, getting back in here is a nightmare. We've already done this one. The main question is, what have I missed? I don't see much down here. I wish there was kind of a hint as to what I've missed sometimes. Oh shit. Stupid overhangs. Oh. Didn't read this. What have we learned thus far in our search for the eye of the universe? Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. 
Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called, a, called out to summon us to the star system. Yes, I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye story. You were no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. Based on your knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around the star, the star system's sun. I mean, the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system. We were unable to warp to this warp to the eye itself. The locator we built on the Addle Rock, and the new more low more wait locator we built on the Addle Rock. That's the moon. Okay. Oh no no we know that one. And the new more sensitive locator we built here. We're both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Hypothesis, the eye has stopped emitting signal. Okay. I think that might have been what I missed. Unless there's something down below, but I certainly hope not. Okay. Please tell me that was the extent of it. Yes. Okay, we're good. That was the last thing I missed. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, nothing about that rune on the Adel Rock showed up ever. Interesting. I think we might have to go back there at some point. Okay, watch the supernova from here. Nah. The Fallen? Well, I don't know if I get much of a choice. Okay, so we're looking for bits of the... There it is. So it looks like in the future, if I do run out of time here. Is this... Yep, this is... Uh, if I do somehow run out of time... That's not a big deal. Oh. Ship took, took some damage. Okay, let's do that. That should be good. If we do run out of time, we can just hang out on the top. And that'll be okay. Whoops. Okay. Chip damage is meaningless. Damn it. Get in there, you mutts. Go down, go down, go down. Oh, we're missing whatever it is. There's a stone. Shit. We only have a couple minutes, a couple seconds left. S seconds, minutes, I don't know. Not much time. Okay, got that. Where's the board? More up. Yep, there it is. Okay. Okay. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means that you've completed your preparations in Giant Steep and are ready to depart for the Quantum Moon. On your pilgrimage, the Quantum Moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many of our clan before me to the Moon's sixth most secret location. Okay, you'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the quantum moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Wait. Shrine must be on the moon's north pole. 
be curious on your journey. Put it down, put it down, shoot. No, you... worthless. Too late. Oh, there's a whole goddamn other one right here. <clears throat> okay, so plan. Yeah, on the purple wall. Well, next time I can just pull it out beforehand or something like that. But you really should be able to just chuck it away. Like, the, the fact that you can't just, like, switch them out or anything like that is a little annoying. Not that I really had a whole lot of time. Okay, so we gotta learn... We gotta go learn a thing. And then we gotta go do some other things. So we're gonna head back to Giant's Deep first. Because that should be faster. And then... We're probably gonna go back there. We just gotta find Giant Steep again. What do you know? So, there was something about the shrine being on the north side. Which I don't know about. Which is interesting. I, I will have to figure that one out along the way. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. So for starters, I think we're going beneath the surface. Whoops. And it's you. What? Okay, it wasn't that one. Oh, that was that was clockwise. Dang it. Is this one? Didn't work. Okay, so what's up with you? And how do I get in you? Oh, there we go. anything else. There were jellyfish. There they are. Well, do I just gun for it? For it. to repair electrical systems. Do I just have to have, like, enough gusto to get in there? That's just going right in. Hmm. 
there's nothing that really... ...currents up here. Okay, so we got part way. Yeah, I guess next up would be interacting with a jellyfish. If I can. Either that or I try and go down manually. We do it slowly. Nah, I doubt it. There's a jellyfish. Let go and sink in? No, it doesn't look like there's any... Gravity. Oh, there is. Doesn't look like I'm moving, though. I guess next up, let's go bump one of these suckers. Nope. That didn't work. Oh. Next idea. Okay, that one's going up. Got it. Okay. Because obviously this is kind of disconcerting. ship is sunk. There's gravity in here. <laughs> 